What's going on guys, Static here, and today I wanted to do another Minecraft tutorial, and so today I'm going to be showing you how to build this, which is, I believe, the fastest piston elevator in Minecraft. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Now, this uh, elevator will take you from bedrock level to sky level in 13 seconds, which is a rate of 10 blocks per second. And um, that actually happens to be faster than flying in creative mode. So it's faster to take this elevator all the way up here than it is to fly all the way up here. Now before I get started on the tutorial, I just want to stress that this is not my design. Uh, this was designed by a guy on YouTube named Browser Steel. I'll link to his channel now, so make sure you've got annotations turned on so you can click that, check out his channel. The guy comes up with some really insane inventions. Um, trust me, you won't regret going to his channel, so definitely take a look. So in terms of dimensions, this piston elevator is six blocks wide by eight blocks deep. And what you're going to need for the build is a bunch of redstone, bunch of redstone repeaters, uh, sticky pistons, normal pistons, some sort of a building block. I'm going to be using the iron block just because I like the way it looks with the glass panes and glass blocks. Bunch of glass blocks and a single button. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do basically is figure out where you want to put your elevator. As I've mentioned, it's quite large, it's eight blocks deep, so you do want to sort of plan out pretty well where you're going to put it. Uh, I'd like to start mine here, so this is where we're going to be pushed up the elevator shaft. And so once you've figured out where you want to go up, uh, place your first piston down level with the ground facing up, just a normal piston. Now you don't need to place the second piston here, you could just place a ground block or like a dirt block or your building block there. I like to place the second piston just to make it look a little bit symmetrical, but it's not going to do anything. So if uh, you're tight on resources, you don't need to place that second piston. Now once we've placed those, we're going to put our button down, and you want to put the button just diagonal uh, of that first piston, and raised up by one block. So chuck your button there. Now we're going to be pulling the power out of the back of the button, so out here, and we want that to go down a couple of blocks. We're going to be powering this piston here by the block behind it, so we'll just power that block like so. So from this point, I like to build the tower up. Uh, since this block is going to be, or this piston arm is going to be pushing us up, you can place solid blocks behind that one there. You don't need any pistons behind that. You can actually just place air here. Um, these blocks can be anything you want, but it makes it a lot easier to build this if you use some sort of a solid block. So um, I'm going to go with the theme of iron blocks, as I've said. Now, when you're building this uh, elevator shaft, what you want to do is you place one sticky piston facing towards you, and then one normal piston facing up. Then on the next layer, you alternate from right to left, so sticky piston facing you, normal piston facing up, two solid blocks, just like that. And so you just want to repeat this pattern going up as high as you want the elevator to go. Okay, so as I've mentioned, we've now got that one piston going. So the next piston that we want to fire is this one over here. So our job is to get current over to this piston first. Now the way that we're going to power the pistons, we're going to power them by blocks off to the side. So first we'll be powering this sticky piston to push out, which will push this normal piston out one block to here, which will then power by this block, which will then cause this piston to push us up one block. Okay, so this one powers the sticky piston, which pushes out the normal piston, which gets powered by this block, which pushes us up. Pretty simple. And the way we're going to push power through those blocks is with repeaters. Now, we also need to put a repeater behind the sticky piston. The reason being is that if we don't put this repeater here, uh, the sticky piston is going to be made to retract while this piston is still extended and pistons aren't able to pull or push extended pistons so the normal piston will get stuck out the front here so we're going to need to put a delay of four on this 
uh, repeater here, and that'll give the normal piston time to retract before the sticky piston pulls it in. Alright, so the way that we're going to get power to these repeaters back here is from this line we're going to go forward three blocks and place our redstone down. Then you're going to go across one block and place a repeater there with just on the first delay setting. So once that's down you can then place down the redstone wire that will power these blocks. And so as you can see what that now gets us is two layers pushed up. And so the next piston that we want to get to fire is this one here. And we're going to power this one in exactly the same way as we powered the last one. So with a block in front of the normal piston and a block directly beside the sticky piston as well as a block there so we can chuck a repeater on top and blocks back here for us to chuck repeaters on. Now obviously we're also going to need to put blocks here to put redstone, uh, redstone dust on to power these repeaters. But as you can see, these wires connect, which is not what we want. This will cause a short circuit. So you just want to cut this off with some with a solid block, which also forms the basis for our next level of the elevator. And so what we're going to do is go down into here, and we're going to place a repeater. Now this one, as I've said, this piston needs to fire after this one, and so it needs to have one extra tick of delay, otherwise both pistons will fire at the same time. So once you've got that, uh, chuck a redstone dust here, um, and then we're going to move the current up to this next level, like so. Now those of you who are really paying attention might have noticed that I didn't put the delay behind the sticky piston at four ticks, and as you'll see, this is the result. So it pushes out fine, but doesn't retract. So just wanted to quickly demonstrate that so you guys know what I'm talking about. So we'll quickly just jump back here and set that repeater to a delay of four. And so as you'll see, now I've got three pistons firing correctly. Now again, our job is to take the current up to the next level. And it's pretty much the same as the opposite side. In fact, these two sides of the elevator are an exact mirror of each other, except they're staggered slightly. So what you want to do is bring this uh, redstone dust out by one and place a repeater facing towards the back. Make sure to put the repeater on the second delay setting. All of the repeaters that ca carry the current to the next level have to be on the second delay setting, as they'll have to be two ticks behind the level below them. So you then want to place a, uh, one of your building blocks in front of that repeater and then three blocks on top of it, just like so. Just carry the wiring up to the next level and that's going to power our repeaters for this level. Again, we have the issue here with the wires uh, intersect, with the wires interfering with each other. So again, just cut them off and as I've said, that'll form the basis for your next level. And here again, we need to take the current up to the next level. However, this time we can't do it with a repeater behind. So we're going to have to do it with a repeater in front. So do it in line with the repeaters powering the pistons. And again, this one you want on a delay setting of two. Block in front, blocks on top. Run, run the redstone up and in behind where the repeaters will go and don't forget to cut off that signal again. So from here on out it's really more or less just a matter of continuing the pattern up as far as you'd like the elevator to go. Keep in mind though to make sure that the repeaters that carry the current to the next level are set on that second delay setting. That's the number one problem that you're likely to have with this elevator. So once you're done with the wiring, you need to put a um, 
a block in front to stop you from being just pushed off the pistons. Uh, I like to use glass just to give you a bit of a nice view of your ascent. Um, and now you might find once you've finished that the piston timing is just a little bit off because it is quite uh, a monotonous task doing the, the wiring in the back and chances are you might have got one of the delays uh, the, one of the delay settings wrong, but you'll know right away because as you go up, you get stuck in the pistons. So the main problem is that you'll have missed one of the uh, the pistons, uh, one of the repeaters carrying the current to the next level. You'll have put it on a delay setting other than two. So make sure that's not the case, and also make sure all of the pistons are uh, all of the repeaters behind the sticky pistons are on a delay of four. If that's all good give your uh, elevator another test and you should find that the timing is just right. Now one thing I like to do when you're at the top layer is to just um, bonk out this repeater here because you don't need this uh, piston to push you up. This will just act as kind of like a floor coupled with this piston here. And also at the top layer just don't forget to cut off that wire, you don't want short circuits. And after that you can pretty much just uh, make your floor, although you might have some exposed wires and stuff here, so I'd be making your wall for the elevator like so. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down under and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I'd like to say again a huge shout out to Browse of Steel for this awesome invention. He does have another version of this piston elevator where you can actually select the floor. That's absolutely incredible and as I've said a lot of other really cool inventions as well so definitely go check out his channel. And anyway guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you next time.